these guys' offensive lines are protecting them. That's why Shador should be in the Heisman conversation. Colorado has the best quarterback in college football. Bandwagon bus, man. Hell of a game. Two went for 500. BWB. Bandwagon bus. That's right. Buff Nation, what up? BWB, my bandwagon buffs. What it is, what it does, and what it's going to be. Hey, it's your man's Harry Billion. Family, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button. Make sure to give me the thumbs up and don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you can get the videos as soon as I upload it to YouTube. Family, I gotta go ahead and get into this video real quick so that's all the business I got. You know what time it is. Let's work. Yeah, I want all the smoke. All of it. Bring it if you think you got it. Because what I got to say is that Shador Sanders is the best quarterback in college football. Yeah, I said it. And he should be in the Heisman running right now. Look at the stats right here and stop playing with me. He spotted all these quarterbacks a whole week and then still couldn't blow his numbers out the water. Stop playing with me. Michael Penix, 2576. Jaden Daniels from LSU, 2573. He put up 2420 like a week ago. I had 24 like a week ago, a week ago. What is going on? Y'all supposed to be the Heisman front runners. Look at here. Caleb Williams, 20. What we talking about? Shador Sanders, a beast. Stop playing with me. I did a Heisman video. According to historical information for the Heisman Trophy, you ain't got to be no winning team. It's about the individual performance of the individual player. Holler at me. Shador Sanders. He about to blow all these numbers away. Spotted them all that time, and this is all they put up. Are you serious right now? This is all they can put up? <laughs> It's a wrap for these quarterbacks. Because my boy's in action with UCLA. He about to light it up. Y'all know he's leaving numbers on that field, man. The argument is simple. He's the most sacked quarterback in college football. The most sacked quarterback. So that means all of these quarterbacks that you see on this list, all of these quarterbacks, if they are not getting sacked as much as he's getting sacked, sacked means they stop him from even playing that down. Sometimes it'll be back-to-back -back sacks. They sack them from even getting an opportunity to finish the play if you have a brain think about it if these other quarterbacks are not getting on the ground or their specific plays are not being stopped as much as Shador's play that means they should have a lot more yards because they have offensive lines that protects them a lot better than Shador's offensive line protects him I understand that sometimes common sense isn't common but doesn't it make sense that if all of these other quarterbacks with their better offensive lines lines protecting them if they had more opportunities to throw the ball why are their numbers not much much higher than Shador's numbers 2420 yards being the most sacked quarterback what we talking about man what's your argument hello give him Michael Penix's offensive line give him Jaden's offensive line Caleb Williams offensive line <laughs> numbers don't lie baby what games are y'all watching y'all watch our games okay let's just say he gets sacked maybe two to three times a game we're gonna save him like four sacks per game right the offensive line performed just a little bit better he has the opportunity to throw the ball four to five times more these numbers are different if he does they're different <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It makes sense because their offensive lines are protecting them. That's the argument. These guys' offensive lines are protecting them. That's why Shador should be in the Heisman conversation, at least honorable mention with the Heisman conversation. But you can look all across the board in everybody's conversation, all of the talking heads' conversations, at least the ones that matter. Ain't nobody got Shador on their board. How? Last week, he led the nation in passing yards. He was off for a week. I think all of the bye weeks are done right so now these guys numbers should have been way higher but he's throwing interceptions he's throwing a lot more interceptions even with the better offensive lines they're throwing mad interceptions tell me who's better Shador's better stop playing with me man Colorado has the best quarterback in college football does he make mistakes and I call him out all the time yes he makes mistakes he holds the ball way too long people say that he's stat padding I don't think he's stat padding I think what he's doing is trying too hard to be perfect on fourth downs you got to throw the ball no matter what Shador he ain't 
ain't trying to throw no interception. He sees and he reads the defense. If there's coverage, there's no opening, he's not going to throw the ball. To a fault. I understand that. He has his issues. I get it. That's my guy. That's my quarterback. I can talk greasy about him, but you can't. You have no grounds to talk greasy about my quarterback, Shador Sanders. None of y'all sorry people who don't know what they're talking about talk greasy about my quarterback because he's putting up numbers behind a weak line and you don't get it. Putting up these kind of numbers behind a weak line. If he had the time that he needs with a stronger line, imagine what he would be doing, man. These quarterbacks would not be up here. His name would be up here. But y'all don't get it? Should do it for Heisman. Best quarterback in college football. Come get me if you got something. But I don't want to hear nothing silly. Forget about his dad. Forget about who his dad is. If you know college football, if you understand how this stuff works, come talk to me in the comment section. Put your numbers where your mouth is. Put up something. Make a good argument. I want to hear it. Make a better argument than I'm making right now. There's no better argument out there. Y'all can't make a better argument. The defense is not the best defense in college football. They stay on the field way too long. Imagine if the defense was really good and we can get the ball back a lot more than we do doing the games. Those numbers change as well if we had a better defense they would be able to give us the ball back a lot more and we will have more possessions for Shador to do what he does. So imagine that. I know that this sounds more like should have, could have, would have, blah, 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 blah. I understand that. I'm not crazy. I'm not delusional. What if he had the better line with his arm, with his accuracy? Mr. I want to be perfect. Just think about it. Think about the numbers he's putting up with his weak line. And defense and offensive line, guys, listen, we're talking greasy about y'all because the numbers kind of show it. Come on now. Okay, so offensive line, to be fair, we have to give you you just do because Shador cannot pass for 2,400 plus yards without the offensive line doing something. He did not get all of those yards on his own. So we do have to give you some credit, but you can do a lot more to minimize the amount of sacks that he gets every single game. We want to give you your flowers. We want to say better things about you, but you got to give us more reasons to say better things about you. If Shador continues to get sacked and he can't do what he does more often, then yeah, a lot of people are not going to have great things to say about you they're going to continue to say oh look the offense is terrible but you guys are not all terrible it's obvious right you've won four games and also the same thing goes to the defense as well we don't win those four games without you guys you obviously have to get some stops right so it's not all bad but look we could be saying a whole lot more if you guys would just, just step up to the bat and just do a better job overall. We want to say good things about you. I want to always talk good things about you. But you guys got to play harder and give us more of a reason to say better things about you without feeling like the way that we felt when Oregon was just beating y'all up and down the field. When the first half of the USC game, you guys could not find an answer. So yes, we're going to say you guys are terrible because that's all we keep seeing is terrible play. If you want us to stop saying you're terrible, then why don't you show up and play better and play all four quarters? That that goes for the offensive line and the defensive line. I don't want to always say that you guys are terrible because that's not all the way true. So obviously, just to be fair, I had to say that. But you guys are terrible. Stop playing with me. Imagine if Stanford was to go three and out instead of a 97-yard touchdown. Imagine that. We get the ball back and we get an opportunity for Shador to get more yards. I'm looking at four to 5,000 yards for Shador. I'm telling you, man, it's right there in front of us. You don't want to look at it because of Deion Sanders. You don't want to look at it because of his swagger. His dad is the one that's causing you guys to be blind to this information. All of y'all are blind to this information. But if this was Michael Penix Jr., if this was Jaden or Caleb, all of those guys, if they had a weak line, that is all that we would be hearing. How great they are because there's a weak line, but nobody's talking about it. I'm the only only one making a case for it. I haven't heard anybody else say anything, but I'm reading between the lines. I'm saying what I'm saying because I know the facts. The facts are here. And if you got better stats than that, holler at me in the comments. Okay, family, that is all the information that I have for this video. I hope you got a little something out of it. And if you did, please make sure to smash that subscribe button to help this channel grow. That's all I do here. I'm going to have to leave it right there. You know who I am. I'm Harry B. And that right there was the Liberian Perspective. That's T-L-P Sports Club. <laughs>